In this video, we'll be creating an automation in Airtable. The automation will move a record from one table to another. You can create an account at Airtable.com. Airtable is a database hybrid. It has the features of a database applied to something we're familiar with, spreadsheets. Rest assured, they have a free plan. You can view that on their pricing page. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. To begin, you'll need to create an Airtable account and log in. So if I log in to my Airtable account, we can get started on this project. Let's select the fictional sales pipeline database I created. Now, if you don't have an Airtable database to work with, copy what you see in this table qualified. Then copy what you see in this table proposed. You can pause this video while you do that. Now we're going to create the automation. When a contact gets marked as having been contacted, we'll want it to automatically move to the proposed table. In the fictional scenario, a sales team may work on different parts of the sales process. Hence, automating the moving of leads from one table to another streamlines your sales pipeline. These aren't tasks to be done manually. Let's create the automation. Click Automations, then click Create an Automation. Let's title this automation Qualified. Let's do a little rocket sign and then write proposed. Now let's define the trigger. A trigger is an action that begins the automation. In this project, the trigger is once the contacted checkbox has gotten marked. Click choose a trigger. Under Airtable, select when the record is updated. Then define the table you're working in, in our case, qualified. Then the view, in our case, that's contacts. Let's now go deeper. Define the field that the automation should track. Click select fields. From the drop down, select contacted. Now click to run the test. If all is well, the test should pass. We can now save the data to use in the next stage of the automation. Click done, then click add action. Here's where we can define what happens once our automation triggers. From the drop down, we'll want to select create a record under Airtable and we'll want to create a new record in the proposed table. Hence, ensure that you select proposed. Let's now define how that record should get created. We're going to do this dynamically using the inputs from the first table. We're going to use the data in the first table to populate the second table. To begin, select choose field. In the proposed table, the first column is name. Now, if we click the plus sign, then select the record from step one, we can insert the name. Let's do that for the other columns too. In the proposed table, the second column is email. If we click the plus sign, then select the record from step one, we can insert the email. In the proposed table, the third column is project. If we click the plus sign, then select the record from step one, we can insert the project. And in the proposed table, the fourth column is quote. Again, if we click the plus sign, then select the record from step one, we can insert the quote. 
We're not going to populate the proposed table with the qualified tables checkbox. The reason being, it's a different stage in our fictional sales pipeline. By default, it should be unchecked until it is complete. Now, click to run the test. If all is well, the test should pass and a contact should get moved from the qualified table to the proposed table. If we switch over to the proposed table, you'll see that that is the case. The record has been moved. Now click done. We can turn the automation on and go back. Our automation is now created. Whenever a contact in qualified gets checked as having been contacted, the contact will get moved to the proposed table. The entire automated workflow will keep a team in sync. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.